In New York City, most chain restaurants are required to post calorie information on their menus. Yeah, the barbacoa burrito. And soon, because of Obamacare, all restaurants with more than 20 locations will be required to post calorie counts. It's like how the FDA requires labels on packaged foods. The idea is pretty basic. When you know how much you're eating, you tend to eat less. Now, Section 8150 of the New York City Health Code states, the health department will cite violations if you fail to post calorie information. But the health department doesn't verify the accuracy of that information. They told me no one checks to make sure these numbers are correct. So I thought I'd assume that responsibility. The actual process for testing caloric content is incredibly complicated and horribly boring. It involved two food scientists who were totally patient and answered all of my stupid questions. And it's pronounced calorimeter? Calorimeter. Calorimeter, okay, got it. We needed the resources at the Obesity Research Lab at St. Luke's Hospital. It involved precision beyond anything I'm capable of. and a lot of math. It took us 10 hours to test five items. How much do you stand, how much do you stand behind today's results? 100%. Now, there was very little science put into the selection of food to be tested. I just tried to pick all the foods that I might eat in a single day. Some from restaurants, some packaged. These muffins are everywhere in the city but the nutritional information is impossible to find. They're called yogurt muffins, and the guy at the bodega said, Yeah, low fat. Low fat? Yeah, low fat. This one, time, they all yogurt muffins, this one. They're pretty healthy. Yeah, they're the best. The best. All right, thank you. There's no nutritional information on their website, so I called them, and they faxed me the data. According to them, the muffin had an incredible 640 calories, and it was even more incredible to find out there were actually 734.7 calories. That's more calories than two McDonald's Egg McMuffins. Thoughts on the results from the Nutty Banana? No, I suspected that it was going to be over. Next up, the Frappuccino. A grande with whipped cream is supposed to have 370 calories. The actual count was 392.9. I can forgive that. The girls at Starbucks like me. Okay, here you go. They probably just gave me an extra squirt. I used Chipotle's online calorie calculator to add up all the ingredients in my burrito. It came to a whopping 1,175 calories. Not a huge surprise, this thing's as big as my foot. Actual count was just over 10% more, which is an understandable margin, but nonetheless a lot of unaccounted for calories. A favorite snack of mine are these vegetarian sandwiches. They taste okay and are vegan, kosher, and according to the label, only have 228 calories. Plus, in big, bold, italic red letters, it says, healthy. And this healthy sandwich took the trophy for the biggest inaccuracy. Actual calorie content was nearly double what the label said, giving this sandwich about the same amount of calories as a Big Mac. Not cool. And lastly, Subway. I just didn't believe that a sandwich this big could only have 360 calories. But I guess that guy Jared knows what he's talking about. The only item tested to come in under the declared amount was Subway. Now, this isn't a conclusive study. I didn't test multiple samples. But I did find that on this day, if I had based my diet on the calorie counts provided to me, because of the discrepancies in those counts, I would have consumed an extra 548 calories. So today's 548 calorie discrepancy means I unknowingly ate a McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese, or two hamburgers worth of calories, or two Snickers, or a couple of donuts. Which all begs the question, if the requirement to post the information is going to be enforced, why not also enforce its accuracy? 
Bye again. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Thanks for having me. Bye.